as usual no intros let's jump into the video today i will show you how to create a super useful chatbot in two different ways so we start with the screen sharing over here you see ford mustang owner's manual you think are you crazy are you are you here to talk about cars no cars are my passion and since that is my passion i started to think about ways to actually create a business out of these specific things because today i will give you a niche idea and how to build the tool itself of course everything is for free so the tools that we're using today is one is botpress you already know about botpress i'm sure if you didn't one is botpress Another one is easier, it's called Custom GPT. All the tools that I'm using will be in the description and as well in the description, you will find the link to Gumroad where you can actually download all the templates that I'm using as well, of course, free of charge. Everything that I'm saying is always free of charge. So let's start with the niche idea. As you know, in my previous video, I was saying I was creating bots for the automotive industry. We have all different things that we can create for car dealerships. One of the things that you can actually create for customers, in this case for a car dealership that I can give to customers, AI bots that can replace the, the owner's manual of a car. What I mean by that is like, of course, when you buy a car, it's brand new. You need to learn how to, you know, check the oil, whatever. I mean, whatever it is, you always go on YouTube, Google, you know, you're not sure that is a specific model, the year, whatever. In this case, we can resolve this issue for the end customers. We can give to the dealership that will help the dealership to give, you know, an extra customer service option. And we can create the owner's manual specific to one specific car. So let's say in this case, I was showing before we, the owner sold a Ford Mustang to a customer. The owner of the car dealership can say, listen, I created an AI bot that can help you with all the questions that you might have for the car itself. So you feel free to use this bot chat with the bot that the bot give you all the information. Now we'll show you how it works so you can actually see the end product. To do it, we need, of course, the PDF file of the owner's manual in this case, and we need BotPress and Custom GPT. I'm saying these two tools because we can use either ones of these two, but I'm saying because depending on your skill level, maybe BotPress is a bit more complicated for you to use and you feel more comfortable to use something simpler as, of course, Custom GPT. Let's start with Custom GPT. So what we need to do is start creating our first project. So we click here, we, we then select upload because we are using file that we have over here. So what we'll do, we download our owner's manual. Once that is downloaded, we go back and we call this file 2023 Mustang owner's manual. We place the file over here. And after that, we can have it here for reference or we can actually delete the file once the file has been processed. In this case, I just leave it like this and we click on create. So now what is happening, the AI, in the back end is analyzing all the information in the file and is training itself to then give the response once the person or the customer or the user is asking for a specific information. So now the file is uploaded. We click here on go to projects and this is Mustang owner's manual. So this is the owner's manual that's been uploaded to custom GPT. We need to tweak some settings as well. So we have everything set up correctly. So we, we can do that as well. So we go here on the settings we can rename it, we don't care. The data, that is the data we provided. We have to go under chatbot, we have to replace, we can replace the image. Right now, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. I will show how to do that in a previous video. If you didn't watch it, go back and watch that video. We won't be changing this, but we need to go here in custom persona and we need to provide the bot a persona. So we need to tell the bot how the bot needs to behave with the user. This is a new thing the, the custom GPT introduced, super useful you need to add this as well. I've created a template. If you want, just copy the template that I have over here. You can pause the video, copy the template. You can use it. Actually use the template. You go back here and you paste it over here and you go on save changes. So now the changes are saved. We go on conversation settings, double check that we have Eng English enabled. We go here on default and we actually go on my content plus chat GPT. This is actually super useful. Why? Because if the tool is unable to find the information we are asking for, ChatGPT kicks in and is able to provide at least some information to the user. Once we do that, we, look, we click on save changes and we are pretty much done. Now we have to go, we go back here, we can select an option to share it. Right now, I'm just gonna do it with the link so I can show you how it works. You go save changes, we copy the link, we open the link in a new page and this is our chatbot. So let's say, how do I check for oil levels. So the bot is actually finding information in the file that I provided. 
and, it, and this is the information that it is providing. So this is one way to create the bot. So you can actually create this, you can go back on, on uh, custom GPT, you can embed this bot on a website, you can uh, do as a live chat, you can integrate it with an API, you can do what you want. But today I just want to show you how to create it and then you can use your imagination to actually create a product that you can provide to customers. The second option is using BotPress over here. So what you do here is you, you go here on create chatbot. Now it's a congratulations. You click on edit. Then you select answer questions on documents because of course you have the document. Again, the Ford Mustang document. So now it's uploading all the information. And once the information is uploaded, you click here and say hello to your chatbot. We go here and now we are pretty much done. So once the uh, user asks for information, the, so the first thing that a bot does is check checks the knowledge base. So what it does, checks the document that we uploaded, the PDF about the car in, in this case. If it doesn't find the information, it goes on this other section over here, it's called fallback, and it gives this response over here. The only thing you need to change is this one, so you can maybe add some text here saying, can you please rephrase that, or can you please specify the specific model of your car, whatever you want. This is just an automatic response that a customer gets if the bot is unable to provide the information. But mostly it will be able to find information because we provided a very extensive document. So in this case, again, how do I check the oil in the car? So now it's analyzing the information, trying to get as well, provides the information. Then once you're done, you can do just publish the bot as you did on custom GPT. And, ag and again, here in BotPress, you can go here and integrate the bot wherever you want. I already provide all this information in my previous videos, so go back and watch those videos if you want to understand how to then deploy your bots. This is just some overall information of a niche idea, a product idea, and how to actually execute the idea itself. So again, this new industry, it's actually super interesting. There's all different ways you can be creative and create services. And let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if there's something specific you want me to go and analyze for you. I'm thinking maybe the pricing options, so how to price yourself. So that maybe is a video that I have in mind that can maybe do the next videos. Let me know in the comments if that is something you want me to do. I will probably do that in the next videos. For now, this is pretty much it. Niche idea, automotive industry what to create owner's manual bots ai trained to replace the owner's manual of a car and how to create a custom gpt for people that are less skilled or bot press if you have more skills if you want to create something more complex this is it if this was valuable to you please give it a like to this video and subscribe to my channel this would help a lot my channel to grow and to share this information with all other people that maybe look into this with you. We are all a big community. We are all in this together. We are growing every day together. So it's always good to share with other people if you think this information is valuable. Thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you next week with a brand new video.